All right, guys, we're going to be working on this here Montgomery Ward snowblower. Picked this up at a yard sale. I don't know, it's probably been a year or more ago. We're going to do some tinkering on it. It actually would pull over and start when I bought her. Got a little sawdust on her, but... This sucker's built like a tank. So, picked up this here 8 horsepower motor. 8 horsepower Briggs. So, I'm going to try to retrofit that puppy on this. This was a five horsepower Briggs. This thing's probably been tinkered on a little by everybody throughout the years. I believe this is a either a late 60s or early to mid 70s. Um, what my research come up with, I think this is um, was made by Gleason for Montgomery Ward. Um, like I said, a sucker's built like a tank. And you know, to replace something like this today, probably be anywhere from twelve hundred to sixteen, seventeen hundred bucks. So picked up that motor for seventy-five bucks. I kind of um, screwed up a few things on this dude taking it off. You know, I took the belts off, couldn't get this pulley off, that sucker was thoroughly rusted on there, so between using a pulley and a hammer, we got some severe damage going on to this little puppy, so I found these, this was as close as I could get, surprisingly enough, I could not find a dual v groove belt pulley in town here of course you can order them but if i can get away with something like this set this inside one on first and you know pin it down where she needs to go slap this mamma jam on here where she needs to go got a little three sixteenths key stock there um <clears throat> not sure about the belt situation i got a here my old shop cat got a pile of belts here that i've collected over the years and probably none of them will work but hell we'll give her a go see if we can't get this some bitch on here um left my damn camera stand in the house but Bear with me here. Maybe I can get her set up here for a little set this here other motor on here to there we go. So we're definitely gonna have to cut these bolts off and rig up something else, so Obviously, the son bitch is bigger. We can know that before we even put her in the pickup. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I contemplated doing the Harbor Freight motors, the Predators, or whatever the hell they are. I just can't get myself to spend the money on them suckers. So, anyways, I think I picked up that snowblower for 15, 20 bucks at the most. Like I said, my buddy just. Let me take the engine for now, see if it'll work. Said if it works, throw them, you know, 50, 75 bucks. So whatever, that's worth that. For sure, I looked them up. You know, damn near $300 motor by the time you got it here. And so, you know, what the hell, so it's in good shape. So take his word for it. I got 30 bucks in the pulley. Dude threw in the key stock there, so... 30 bucks in that probably i only got one belt had to cut the other one off because 
a little impatient with the process. But anyway, so, you know, a little over a hundred bucks there. You know, 125 bucks if I can get it running. Be a hell of a, should be a hell of a good machine. Anyways, well, we're going to chop them bolts off there and see if we can get something rigged up here. Alright, well, I figured we'd try to have somewhat of a center mark on this shaft. I don't know if it's really going to matter, but in the chance it does matter, I'd like to have a little reference point of some sorts. Yank this motor. Try to whack these bolts off here. that motor up on there got our center mark that we made earlier to the center or this left side of the shaft put her up there mark this right side hole and then we got one mark there on our side got to transfer it out into the middle measure over to center got that one drilled here so we're gonna, so I'm gonna get my other hole drilled right here. Do the same thing, the shaft hopefully won't be in the way too much, but we'll get that one drilled, get our bolt up there, get our motor kind of mocked up sitting up here and get a belt on her, see if she's even gonna work. Strings up didn't work, so we got out our Miller Multimatic 200, slapped a few tacks on there. We'll see if that gets her. So we got our engine mounted. We just have the front belt on, and I don't think that's even the right belt, but motor's running. Son of a bitch is turning. So we'll have to go get our right belts and get this some bitch plowing snow. Alright, so we had her all mocked up here and we made sure everything was working. So now I fixed up this little piece of angle iron put here so I can get a, these back bolts in. 
probably for sure get one here. I don't know about this because of this um, rod for the spout, but we're gonna get this welded up and we'll get these new bolts in here and see if we can't get the thing all done. Should be pretty good. Might throw one more right here. Alright, so we got that welded up good enough. And then I gotta reset my bolts here and weld them up better. I went to town and found one belt. I was hoping to get two, but all they had was one, so we'll hopefully that'll work. It's a half inch by 40 inch so we'll see how she goes all right so I think we're about ready to mount this motor again I got my studs welded in better got another one welded up over there got my extra plate there welded up so just kicking on 110 with the Miller Multimatic 200. I got 30 amps over yonder in the corner, but something that small, that little 110 does just fine. Running 035 flux core wire. Sixteen point two volts. It's a damn nice little machine. But anyways, we'll set that motor back down on here and see how she's fitting and go from there.